Salutations and greetings everyone, and of course, welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series which we're playing as MacArthur. I'm your host, Mr. Enclave Lover, and right now, uh, the Church of the Salo is not doing very well, but I think it's time we go in, see what we can do against Standing Rock, or really the True Cons, I guess, because um, they've also gone to war with the Ruminators, and honestly, that would be way too big of a front line for me to hold, so we basically have to go in now. Um, the, let them attack us a little bit, and we'll attack them too. Um, do whatever we can to capitulate them and encircle them and just beat the snot out of them, basically. Which would be very nice, of course, as usual. Uh, I don't want you to go there. I'll go here. No, I want you to go here. Here. Ah, Ruminators? Ah, of course, we'll gladly take your basic weaponry. Come on, win so you can actually do well here. Hey, an encirclement has already been completed. Beautiful. Oh, Standing Rock is not at war. Interesting. How long will that take? You know what? They did want to go to war with us, and they still have war goals against us, so we might as well do that. Oh, great cons. You tried. Or I guess, technically, the true cons. Steel Town, yay! Read that one last time. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Local self-defense. A well-regulated militia versus on the wings of liberty. Well, I did the, the wings of liberty last time. Closing remarks. The last citizens. Non-core manpower minus 60%. Holy cow. Well, requires desperate reinforcements and last ditch re reinforcements. The United States is not a soup kitchen. Last ditch reinforcements. Desperate reinforcements. Require spare parts, Missoula Massacre, Terrace Incidents, Local Stockpilers, or Stockpiles, Going Dark, Absolute Loot to Fallen Heroes, Rebuild it, to fix your upper- Oh, we get these as cores anyways? Oh crap, oh come on. I cored it anyways at, throughout this because we need the manpower. Alright, whatever. You know what? Let's go with local self-defense because I did this one last time. Chicago has much to do with, uh, with it on its own. We can surely rely on assistance from local citizens instead of uh, <clears throat> advanced military aircraft, right? We'll see what it, where it takes us. Good. 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 Very good. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, safe haven is here now, too, huh? Well, it's alright. You know, you're gonna go there. You can just go here instead. Cancel on Lisa. Huh? Part standardization, a little more construction speed. You can help them out this way, too. And you're gonna go in as well. Uh, Steel Town Blues, to many Montana. Steel Town is hope for a better tomorrow. A dream that one day Americans might enjoy the standard of living their ancestors had in the 2070s, but to others, it's a lie. Steel Town relies on refugee labor, and their demands have gone unmet for far too long. Heavy machinery crushes worker limbs, production quotas, and low salaries lead to tired, hungry workers. People who dared a, a better life, or dreamed of a better life, for the children. Uh, Markham's plan for Steel Town to be a lie. Uh, but a long last have risen up. To quote Saline Crow, leader of the strikers, no more 16-hour shifts, no more locking us in the factory so we can't see our family, and most importantly, Markham, no more you. We've done paying you for pee breaks and metal breaks. If you don't go, we don't work. Alan Santiago dispatched Team October to handle the situation, but how will they do so? Favoring Markham, who runs Montana's economy, may be the easiest choice, but don't the people of Montana deserve a square meal and fair wages, and more importantly, won't crushing the workers damage Steel Town's factories while alienating a large group that may one day prove useful? Markham built Steel Town and she'll build Montana. Looks like Markham gave Team October a reward. The Atom Smasher. The refugees are people too. We do what we must. Can you not get encircled? Like, do better? Oh my god. Just beat the crap out of them here. 
No, you're going to make an encirclement, whether you like it or not. Oh, the red hopper. A well-regulated militia? Okay, interesting. Thank God, my God, that took way too long to figure out how to do. The Mercury Serial is good. Um, a well-regulated militia. To protect the North, Team October stayed upon an ingenious idea, relying more and more on the local auxiliaries and locals. Although less equipped than Team October on the, or the Enclave proper, these wastelanders, under the guidance of the First Families, are willing to fight and die for their homes and freedom. Some of MacArthur's senior leadership feared that this will cause trouble down the line, for who knows where else the locals could turn the guns. But the Secretary of the Interior performed a right, rigorous cost-benefit analysis, and the math is clear. It's far cheaper for Chicago to lose a dozen wastelanders than one American private. And so let us, let us salute the first battalions of our new National Guard. God bless Montana? Or about Havre? Or Haver? A Haver needs to be restored to its pre-war state if we were to truly make it use of it. Uh, well, our pre-war for it. Not the pre great pre-war. Not pre-great war. Let's be realistic. Nomen Nessio. Things can only go so on for so long before people uh, start to wonder and new rumors have filtered west. They come from local the scouts. River League traders and Enclave officers have had a few too many drinks. In the bars of Montana, people whisper of Enclave experiments with FEV. They tell factories where workers never see the light of day, building war machines and luxuries for men and women and pursuing a great game. And they mutter that the handful of letters sent west are always devoid of personal details. More and more people are asking silently, just what is happening? And what is the Enclave plan for Montana? We will rebuild America, the way it is meant to be. Hey, yeah, got some power armor out of that. Nice. Optimize more trading. That'd be good. How many times are you going to get encircled? Holy crap. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Just exterminate them. You know, you know, just ex literally exterminate them. You guys are here. Um, do you have a justify roll goal on us? You don't. You know, if they want to come in, they can come in too. You guys are coming down here too. I'm sick of this crap. You got yourselves encircled again. How stupid are you? Do you still have the metal mouth just fine on us? You're gonna force the attack. I'm sick of this. Kill off all the cons. Kill all cons. Cack it up. Butcher them. They deserve nothing. There you go. Let's get down here. Sussex? Nice. Good. No, we gotta take everything here. They get nothing. They did nothing. Good. And you're gonna pay divisions down here. Saying Rock is still trying to beat up the church of the silo, but they completely isolated themselves up here? No, they can still do it. They really wanted to. Church of the silo, huh? Might as well. It's a fixer upper. Look at the town of Hopper. Where once there was ruining and decay, now there's progress. Where there was once oppression, now there's good government. Liberty, well, and time, perhaps, too. Keep us safe, please. Alright, so we don't have enough divisions for this group here, which sucks. But whatever. Riders. Demos, well, I guess not demo teams yet. Or even fire teams. We could use another research slot. That'd probably be pretty nice to get. Record quite a bit, though. Rear view. Nice. How much money do we have? Eh, a decent amount. High bots? Yes, please. 75% eh, is pretty good already. Grow heart. Um, can we spend our PP on anything else? Annotations? Okay, package. 
That'll help resistance go down. There you help cover the line there too. It's fine. It's a fixer upper. Hey, we got another Casper. Great. Rumblings of discontent. The problem with some of the folks from Chicago is that while you can do business with them, they won't go through. They'll go through a man's books and papers looking for whatever he has of value. More than one subject has been hurt of state. Things will get better if we get away from this. <laughs> Can't be trying. Very nice. Block read schematics, not bad. Even though I do want West Tech, but whatever. How many more days do we have for this one? Till April, so about a week. All right, good enough for us, since we're here anyways. Casper, welcome. Oh, you're level 10, wow. Pretty strong. Even more money? Nice, 200. Not bad. South, take care of it for now. Great race. Now we're out of manpower again, but what else do you expect from us? Going dark and terrible news. It seems that some raiders are attacking our communications network. I'm afraid it's becoming difficult to communicate with the Chicago or outlying garrisons. are nice. Throw them at people. There's a lot of time for that Scorch Earth is good too. And last one for the line doctrine. Shock and all. Resistance growth speed goes down is fantastic. Wow, what are you doing here? Going dark. Why isn't our video feed working? Horrible news, someone, either Brother Terrace, the Jacksons, or Lakota took out our radio communication facilities and damaged MacArthur Air Force Base. Although we can try to repair the network, it will be difficult to maintain the communications with Chicago and the Department of the Interior for the foreseeable future. Oh my god. We can only hope that a long distance radio link will make up for this and that the Team October can find the corporate in time, but for now we're isolated. This is a disaster. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Terrace incidents. Open to traitors. Seems that the waste, many wastelanders are openly defying our authority now. They gather supplies and refuse to pay taxes to the IRS attachments patrolling the Commonwealth. What can we do? So with that, that actually, oh my god, we have like no political power. Um, well, we better spend it when we got it. Why, 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 why? The power armor is honestly disappointing me right now, really badly. Do your job. Who else do they have here? Are the great cons are still... The cons are alive? I thought we annexed them all. Oh. Throw over them to the... Hello. Can you not get encircled? Time, but we need the manpower now, so. It's 
terrorist incidents? The news continues to get worse. It seems that more and more of the officers devoted to the cause are dying. What should we do? Oh boy. What else we can do on the right? The top left, we still got a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, best string rot. Saving Spokane. A salute to fallen heroes. The Missoula Massacre. Tensions between the Enclave and the Wasteland are not uncommon, but how do we handle this one? Lost 200 versus their 2000 ish. No manpower. Stay funded. There we go. Wow, they are very far over here, aren't they? They even had a navy too. Look at that. Not much of one, but ship or two. Uh -huh. Mhm. Canoes, even though I wouldn't imagine the Enclave actually using canoes, but whatever. Can't imagine that at all. Nothing they could do to stop us. <sighs> Dispatch the Juana Mingos to safe haven in all sorts of other places. You know what? Military sending bonuses? I'm okay with that too for now. <laughs> we definitely, definitely, definitely need more manpower and whatnot. How many more scrap now, too? Oh my god. That's actually really bad. And I got Rapid City, though. Oh, Rapid City and Bismarck. Let's see. Begin a route, huh? Oops, I removed it. My bad. Boop. 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 I know we got a lot of money. Well, we'll get a lot of money, hopefully. You... What did you learn? Maybe I'll save that for... Uh, terrain trait, maybe. Safe Haven's looking pretty good. Might come back to middle mark, maybe. Now that we're stronger and better. Unless someone else wants to come and kill us. I mean, that's highly likely, too. This is on Higgins Avenue. Ever since the protests against Chicago's demands escalated, tensions between the Enclave soldiers and the people of Montana escalated, too. On the night of uh, the 1 o'clock, 24th of August, 2280, the people took action uh, to defend themselves or did the mob slaughter unarmed heroes. According to the civil witnesses, the mechanic demanded a sergeant pay for a bill for repairing a broken radio. The officer, 
who exclaimed he already paid the bill, insulted the mechanic, and the two exchanged insults. Accounts are unclear, the mechanic could see him try to push the officer, or punch him. The officer then bashed the mechanic with a laser pistol. Seeing this, civilians ran to go threaten the officer, who treated to a nearby guard post. What well, then followed was a massacre as the ten Missoulins lay on the cold, dead ground. The first families demanded the officer be charged and executed for killing civilians, but the enclave officers are adamant that no soldier in this man's army could be tried well by mutants. Do not sacrifice an officer and a gentleman. Sacrifice the officer to appease the first families. We protect our own. Oh crap. The idea of letting the first families to have a say in the fate of America's warriors was absurd. Most of all, Ellen Santiago. What? She shouted in their mother's office. We'll follow from this. Will they try you next for me? And so the corporal refused the first family's request. For the enclave does not listen to Wastelanders. We're here to help, not to be judged. Who needs to build? Remove support, which actually would be really nice, but still. Desperate reinforcements. Request spare parts. Well, to deal with the increasing unrest, Team October's requested additional equipment from Chicago. Let's hope it's enough. Request spare parts. With all these technical difficulties, some of our vertebrates fell out of service. Literally, in some cases. Could you please send some spare parts in last command? The first families were convinced they could protect the North on their own without the benefits of the beating heart of the American Empire. Chicago thought that it could treat the people of the North as subhuman mutants, a resource to use and dispose of, but honestly, how did both groups forget the woman that turned the lawless Rockies into a little slice of paradise? We got a lot of things to improve here. Got a lot of roads to go, especially in mountainous terrain. Oh god. So, no political power, but we do get some, uh, quite a bit of money. It's nice. America's roads must be rebuilt. Uh, we got the next. It's fine. So that's all done for now. Gene crops would be nice. We'll come over here next. Because we can. This is a Christmas one? Oh, it's like a fever dream. No, it's fine. Whatever. My little stair truck again must increase the infrastructure. We do a couple more focuses and whatnot. California is a giant mess. This is what democracy leads you, you know? Just a giant freaking mess. Quest spare parts. We can open up the former cotton territories if we just do it like this, maybe. I could do Liberty's Country, but please stand by. Bowman. Boop. I, mean, I don't want to lose a trade node, so... Where's Bismarck? There it is. Boop. What else we got? Rapid City. Boop. 3,000, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000. Boop. Shoot up out a little bit. Not ideal, but whatever. Of course, we could just wait and do advanced technology decisions too, but whatever. We'll get there. Let me expand our training as well. Uh -huh. There you go. Plates, medical creation costs, shock and awe. We're done with the land auction, good. More breakthrough, yes. And army training, 0.1 a day. 0.81, I should say. Alright, please stand by. And the golden mean. Even the founders knew that if we inclined towards too much democracy, we shall descend into barbarism, but neither should Chicago's excesses be imposed upon the simpler folk of the North. No, it is a colonel who can guide the region of peace and plenty. Please stand by. Uh, really, General, you expect me to believe this? That the special agent was destroyed by mutants? The secretary's image turned a bright red. Burning red. And the general swore heat blazed from his electronic visage, but she held firm. I'm afraid so, sir. It seems we're working with Team October as well. A pause of that. A pause so long as it being an eternity for a machine as the iBot floated closer to her. Interesting. Your own daughter went native? The Joan did not raise her voice. That's unproven. Perhaps she was a hostage of other elements. Perhaps. Doubtless that is something you will figure out when you crush them now. The eyes flashed again. After all, anyone capable of killing Special Agent Johnson must know many of her secrets. 
God bless the Enclave. Oh no, the Chicago Enclave instructor suffered a bullet-related incident. Oh crap, we have a civil war? Well, I guess that makes the most sense. Um... Let's uh, get to this first. Going all soldiers back. Missoula lost. Oh. Move the treasure to a new location. Okay. Then. Oh, is that it? Okay then. It's not bad. But no, not Martha. Darn it, we were pumping her up to be really good. God dang it. Actually. Rapid response, Enclave Remnants. Shipment. Targeting computer. He's only level 3, that's not great. You're gonna have to become inspirational then. Do not know we would lose our own daughter. But, you know what, I guess it happens. Because northern, northwestern. Oh, she leads this group. Oh, Montana's mother. Wait. Montana's mother. Martha Santiago. We're Montana's mother. What are you talking about? She went native on us, huh? They're part of the people, refugees. So I guess that's this route. Liberty's country. I guess we'll do that one next time. I'm sure that'll be a third time. Oh man. I don't have all the core lands, which makes sense. Um. Yeah, you can do this one, please go ahead. Good. Because I read the one last time. Just go to Missoula, that's fine. It's unfortunate. Oh, and goodbye. Well, thanks for the power armor back. The Ashen Skies, like an archer with a bow, and the Dakota silos were always on guard, always at ready for the Great War. When the time came to protect the United States, they were already sending hundreds of missiles forth to avenge the Chinese attacks on this great land. But they suffered in return as China's warheads poisoned the land, the cult of Adam worshipped the radiation, and bathed in the glow, but they were children playing with guns, ignorant of the weapons that they slumbered in the, in the earth. Now MacArthur has control of the silo fields, and can salvage remaining weapons, and with control of the missiles, we can ensure that Chicago will never threaten us again. Draco dormins nunquam titulandus. Alright, fine, I'll do the Chicago Enclave, they ask. Nice. Last command, golden means, and then we got all these four to do, because this one's on the this over here, unfortunately, and this one's already over here the two, which is honestly the right side's a ton of fun. I love the right side. Since awaiting new orders is fantastic. Second birth of liberty. Golden moon. Eagle Rock. Uh, Chicago still take five. Uh, smoking salvage is kind of gross, but these guys are up to no good. Although Chicago's request that we pursue the Pacific Coast seems premature, but maybe we can try anyway. Sweet child of mine, the field communique was quick and to the point. The 31st found the remnants of the rebellion at a ranch outside of Lincoln. Initial attempts to subdue the insurgents peacefully failed, and a vertebrate strike was called in for support. Civilian casualties were minimal, as everyone at the ranch was either an insurgent or an insurgent supporter. Uh, the team October was identified at the site and terminated with extreme prejudice. The general stared at the last sense for a while and the screen flashed. Will there be a reply? At least she typed the only word she could. God bless the Enclave. And so ends Team October. Unfortunate, but you know. Will be known as the Northern Command. Get to the Montana Enclave. Oh, thank God. I did that one because I wanted to get more political power. Thank God we get more political power back. Oh, at least we get one a day. Oh, I love the Enclave. Anyways. Um, but... We do have to fight the second coalition. We just gotta continue increasing our manpower and pretty much everything else. You know, wilderness survival training is it really worth doing right now? Probably not. But we got a lot of things to research. We got a lot of things to do to make ourselves even better and better and better. High Chapel looks like it's getting taken out by the Heaven's Gate. But we get to go to war with the Infinity Knights, which actually look really awesome. And I love it. There's three options for these guys: the Infinity Knights, the Scourge of Spokane. Um, I like Steam better, anyways. And then there's the Wicked. Our fair lady's blessings. I can't wait to play as this nation. That looks really awesome, actually. Antipartisan, very good. Uh, help put down more resistance too. That would be fantastic. Spoke, Spokane salvage. Although Chicago's request that we pursue the Pacific Coast seems premature. Maybe we could try anyways. I mean, they will take out eventually. Um, 
Washington Brotherhood. Or they die trying. They'll probably die trying, but whatever. Uh -huh. You can use another Civium bet. Bet you yeah, they could. Got a recovery rate. And what's next? Well, what else we got down here? Chicago's assistance. You see, Montana, I knew you had... I know you've doubted my efforts, but have we not benefited from Chicago's assistance? Oh, they're fighting the Timberline. If these guys win, that'd be really great. How are they doing? That was a lot of the divisions. They don't have a lot of manpower. Well, we better go in then. Uh, sure, middle mark. Lost air wing. Huh. Veteran grants. Not every retired soldier wants to live in a city or a Chicago colony. Settling them here will give us a chance to put down roots over those we hold in sacred trust. By blood alone. Ooh, yeah. Uh, we definitely want to do that next. There are those out of East who think mutations are a matter of DNA and chromosomal damage. They are fools. Clearly, some fine Americans can be salvaged from the wasteland, proven by the service to the state. Martha Santiago, why did you have to do that? Just why? You had so much promise. You guys can continue going in. Of course, we would also like an Air Force as well. So, you guys are here anyway, so you can have all that too right there. Wow, the Yakima Nation's still not dead? That's a little bit of a surprise, but okay then. Haugen? Oh, there's a river here too. No wonder we're taking forever to fight across here. Just go here first. I told you go here first, not there. God dang it. Whatever. We'll get them. Smoke grenades are good too. Advanced rider gear is a little ahead of time. Do that one. Go and help them out by killing them off. And once we get them, we can go here too. And go to War of the Timberline. That'd be great. Save funded programming, yes. Uh, raise Wasteland budget. That would be bad either. Uh, veteran grants, yes. Nice. Watch out for spies. We definitely need... You know what? We need way more scraps. Come over here first. And start doing some of these dedicated equipment and whatnot. We definitely need four more stuff as well. Oh god, resistance is even getting higher and higher and higher. Not good. What are we lacking? Infantry armor. Robots are looking pretty good right now. Uh... <laughs> Standing Rock needs a ton of resistance to put stuff down. About a little bit there, at least. Need tons of infantry equipment, though. Okay, we're not paying attention. Or I'm not even paying attention. You guys probably were. I was not. Oh, well, we got these guys. I don't think we can demand everything, can we? No. But that's certainly make it easier for us to kill them off. Nice. You guys are flying through there. You guys will defend right here. Is there another waterway here, too? Maybe. And you wait while we'll I focus on these guys here. Like that. You only need two divisions for that, that'd be fine. Very good. Research and whatnot for that, that's good. Dynamite would be good. You can go two maybe. Boom, boom. Nice. 
to give our riders a little bit more off. Wait. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I did say I want to use riders for front lines in this campaign and then use robots for garrisons. Because I've never done that like this before. And I've been recommended to try it out. So that's over here. Eh, I just sort of scrap values, why not? Air support. Third bird schematics. Uh, holding high chapel. Do you want to deal with the cleanup in Utah? No, neither do I. All the more reason to secure this region is the buffer zone. Makes sense. Mm, C I E A. Our illustrious secretary has been so kind as to provide us with support from Chicago, specifically due to the formation of the Chicago Industrial Extraction Arms work. At the very least, it provides us a buffer against any would be evildoers. Funny, the army's good. We're still on American last, last Army, which is not bad. Penny for perishables. Dress into a lifetime, civilian outreach. You know what? We'll start with that one, too. Got a little more uh, guys here. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get my political power first. Holding high, Chapel. So now we can justify on these guys too. I should have done that a little earlier, but whatever. Boop, boop. Because that is the state that we want. Air support. Given our largely unopposed control of the skies, American troops can hold out when raiders and savages would pretend they are surrounded. And indeed, some of our troops have been court martialed for calling an air support for a clean, refreshing huckleberry soda from Salvador's. Mm hmm. Sure, why not? Oh, we can just. Okay. Men are apple territories from them. Well, let them finish the war first. Flying high. We may not have the means of making our own yet, but until the secretary deems us worthy, we'll have to make do with another shipment of vertebrates from Chicago. Cool. Oh, no manpower, that's a deal. Oh, high Chapel, please win. Or Heaven's Gate, I guess you'd say. Please win. I still like to pour more stuff, though. Sorrow, sleepers, legs. Hey, a little bit of manpower, look at that. Still mobilizing a little more, which is great. Extract a little bit more, because we're still really out of scrap. Oh, my gosh. Can we build a scrap factory? Oh, what's this? Descends. Little do these readers know, we have metal mouths too. Oh, well, that's a long time. That's a long time ago. The P 25 Restoration. Hover Air Force Station was a general surveillance radar station before the war and home to some airfields designed for emergency landings. Although they've been largely stripped at this point, we can always use what's left. Sure, why not? Immediately start taking us there. Okay, the are nice. Sure. Oh, please don't get destroyed that way. There you go. And once these guys are gone, it'll be pretty easy overall. Uh, raise the budget. Uh, the final story never told. Uh, Ellen, Ellen Santiago's surprise or suggestion. The traveling symphony was tasked with performing a radio drama. Uh, and in a fit of whimsy, she let the symphony pick their performance. An unusual choice, for none of the props carried by Brahma could be seen, so what to do? The conductor put on something she'd be working on a tragedy about a family right before the war. A warrior home from the front, a wife, a barrister, fighting for what passed for justice, and the robot butler, more aware than he let on. In the end with the robot narrating the end as a couple escape the end of all things. Up in the sky there goes a Chinese plane, the last one for a while I fear. No more planes now, no more towns glimpsed through airplane windows, po uh, points of glimmering light. No more looking down that 30,000 feet and imagining the lives lit up by lights at that moment. No more airplanes, maybe their children will use them to store food in the winter, if they ever find food, and then the noise of bombs in silence. No epilogue here, lest you make of it. If you want your future, go and take it. I'm sorry, but I want a light comedy. 
I genuinely cannot tell if this is an anti-ranger propaganda. I guess if we can't understand it, it must be an art. All the world's a stage, and one man in his time plays many parts. It was worth it, thought Joanne, as the troopers escorted her into the colonel's office. The Enclave rebels might put on a new coat of paint, but it was just a power struggle between the factions that destroyed the world. Even the posters on the wall, the pompous insignia, it all reminded her of the dead hand of history even now choking the Midwest. She would die, but she would die making people think. And yet, when she walked into Ellen out Santiago's office, she was surprised. The woman was younger than expected, reading some report on her computer. A clever performance, really. I think I understand. The world in her past has always been swept clean. It's time to begin anew, again. There was an awkward pause, and Joanna smiled. Well, no playwright reveals her secrets, but certainly that was one interpretation. And, she added, I prefer to think I'm not following a script. The colonel smiled, by the way. Will we ever learn what really happened to the family? Unlock playwright Joanna. Johannes. Johannes. As an advisor. Oh. State renowned starlet. I'm still going to execute you as a brother of Paladin, obviously. Everyone liked that. You know what? Let's have her. Something unique. More daily compliance? I'm sure we could use that. And a little more stability, because we have none. Whatever. Don't talk about that. We're as stable as we need to be. That's right. You guys could keep him in place. There you go. Good job. You might as well go into. This just looks ugly with them here in the center. But do we get them maybe later on? Shipments to Chicago? With security restore, we can increase our trade to Chicago for mutual benefit on even more terms. Knocking on Heaven's Gate. Once upon a time, the town of Billings was offset by a group of raiders of, with advanced cybernetics. Most were easily taken out by a detachment there. Still stationed since the Heaven's Gate debacle, but they've since grown in strength and threatened to return. Let's take them out permanently. Our Pacific proxy. Although some may consider an approach to uh, Coover naive. Ooh, look at that. The success of the Colonel shows that Wastelanders, backed by the Enclave technology, can do what humanity's finest cannot do alone. I'm sorry, but Khans in Wyoming? This is so stupid. I don't care if they're Chinese spies or Mongolian resistance fighters. I just want them to die. Snow days are canceled. At last, we can't handle these snowmen threatening our approach to Canada. Soon, soon. And cleanse the filth. Oh, how wonderful. At last, someone who can clean Washington for us. They'd be wise to accept our gracious offer. Middle mark to clear war on safe haven, too, huh? Nice. Are you done? Yes, you are. Get a man around the territory. Is it a proxy? Oh, did they actually accept? Hey, they did. Oh, we even got the Silex Nation under them, too. Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe they're just in their territory. Oh. So right now, we're led by the Colonel. And maybe it's time to get rid of you, Aaron Graham. Daily people support. We'll see. Mm. If the Northland Light Republic accepts, we'll get interest in intellectual support. We can do that in a little later. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, well, we need a lot of guns, don't we? Nice job, guys. Uh, they reject the ultimatum. Interesting. No military sending bonuses then. The bank. That helped things out a slight bit. Cool. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Um. Well, well, they'll have another opportunity to reject us, or accept us, or accept what we want. Let them go on. 
Like I said, not a lot of divisions, but my god, the divisions we have better be strong. Good. Oh, even the Navajo. Everyone's declaring war on the Legion. Nice. Ooh, there goes Glory. Goodbye, Glory. That's crap. Missoula looks like it's probably maxed out. Uh, Steel Town? Yeah. Keep working on it. Radio interception groups? Sure. Boy, from Dearborn. Lessons from Navarro. Sure. You're making more money. And can we demand anything here? Or do we just have to manually just justify on them? We can go to war with them straight up. It's pretty nice. Can we demand uh, manpower from you? Request guarantee control. No, maybe not. Okay. Oh, the festering rot. The rot purgers. Oh, failed in their mission. We must weep. Uh, uh, although uh, they were mutants, their attempts to purge ghouls from the wasteland deserve a place of honor at the table. Perhaps one of them could join Team October. Well, Team October's gone. Saving Spokane. At long last, a ghoul threat is cleansed and we have served a save the rot purgers' lands. This is one of the few places where we are greeted with as liberators. A sign of wisdom, you know. One could argue their isolated location means they're less mutated than the rest of the wasteland. It's weird about going about this. Going around them. Kind of. It's alright. It's the way God would have wanted it. You know? Now we do this. They immediately start attacking us. Do we really have enough here to do this one too? Hey, that helped us out. Negative 31 is better than negative 40 than what we had earlier. Uh, as much as I want more political power, I'm still going to go with more war support. Yeah, you know what? Let them attack us. The power arm should be fine. Good. Oh, nope, never mind. They are actually going this way, so we have to go in. Uh, maybe not you. Not yet. Yeah, that's bad. At least we make better power armor now. Still ahead of time, way too ahead of time. You know what? Uh, you know what? Let's save this for later, since we're at war and we don't get them yet. Dale's a granite company. Nikola Tesla was perhaps a decent man, though his work has lived on by his geneticized language, such as our Tesla armor, Tesla weapons, and Tesla coils, as opposed to the man himself. With this, we can take another step forward into the future, even if it's still many steps beyond Chicago. Nice. Welcome to the Captain of the Fold. Great. No military command, incalculable hatred. That would be bad. Our chief of the army. Division experience gain. Well, Midwestern men. Where's that one? No, oh, we can't do Midwestern men. Oh, okay. So, we can't do this one. Might as well get more division experience can, I guess. Hey, we're doing well down here, though. It's nice. Losses, 1,000 versus 118. Not bad, not bad. Dr. Granite, you're not allowed to get wounded. Can you all but, like, one go here? A lot of divisions, I get it. Nope, maybe not. Tell the Grand Company, knock on Heaven's door. Or Heaven's Gate. There you go. At least we got rid of another enemy division. That's good. Uh, I want to go down there too. Ooh, you know what? We can use more defense right there as well. Even less defense, more attack, it's fine, whatever. Are right, we still negative 31? Negative 38 now, not ideal. Fall of Heaven's Gate, yay! Good stuff. It's a little ahead of time. Now can you go in? Yeah, there you go. Um, Sergeant Granite. Less organization loss moving. It's not a huge deal, but it's it's a good amount. 
Let them go this way. I mean, it, it distracts them from the core territories. It's actually very important. The steam. Oh, well. We gave them all switcheroo, didn't we? There you go. Not bad. Shipments to Chicago. Nice. Are we lacking anything here now? Besides maybe planes? No, we're actually positive on everything. Huh. Everything that we need. For now. Uh, that's the case. I still want more robots. Robert Rag. Well, actually, you won't need to be needed there. Steam, perhaps. Some oversight's always wise to have. Great Eastern Passage. Sit down here. Save his Spokane. Ching. Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's on this side. Huh. Good optimized training. Uh, yeah. Basic training appointments, eventually. Uh, how much money do we have? That's not bad. Basic boundaries are good. Give them more compliance already. It's all good stuff. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, we don't increase compliance here. Whoops. Here we got Murta. We're even down to Utah now. Oh, did you look at that? Well, so we're not really desired around here, maybe? Nice, we have three monies, but we make plenty of money in the end, so it doesn't really matter too much. I should have manpower even more. Boop. Hey, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what happens. Cleanse of filth. How wonderful it lasts when we can clean Washington for us. Good. Pretty nice. Blends of filth. No data cancelled. Rad hordes and Nipsentis. The time tireless flame. Chicago sell of Yellowstone Project as only a resource. But the colonel's support for unorthodox research opened new possibilities. The good stuff. Ooh. Gauss rifles are not as good as plasma weapons, perhaps, but they're easier to maintain in the wilderness. They're still well above typical wasteland of fodder. And now that we have enough, pursuant to negotiations, to deploy them more wisely. Train if you need to. And the Legion's having a little civil war in 2282. Nice. Good job, guys. The bull has been broken. As it should. Beep, 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 beep. Don't want to put this guy's in there. Uh, America's heroes. We have anti-tank on them. The the armor support would actually give us a slightly, slightly more armor and more HP. Hurts our organization, though. This would actually help them with a little more organization, too. More breakthrough. You know what? Every good power armor division needs power armor support, which I almost never do, which I don't like. I don't think it's really beneficial, but whatever, I just did it anyways. Sacrifice meat to the flames of Hephaestus. Research at the old Poseidon uh, facility, not oil rig, but the facility, has unlocked possibilities in energy storage as well as production. We're now able to overcharge power cells, giving us more bang for our plasma. A great day for the Enclave and the Northwest Command. Why did our daughter divert so much power to the Wastelanders? Refined asbestos. Infantry equipment 
more heart attack, breakthrough, energy cell gain, army, energy cell capacity, add Poseidon energy schematics and this ability. Eh, not bad. Kind of worth it. Cool. No days are canceled. The good stuff. Utah incursion. Embarrassingly, some of our troops have gone lost in Utah, but they revealed that the land is a surprising amount of raw materials, lightly defended. Perhaps it's time to go forth and see if there's anything of value there. Uh, eh, I'll do this one too, why not? Salt Lake Salvage. Although we thought our scouts were joking at first, but it seems that much of Utah is overrun by savages, raiders, and Mormon survivalists. Fortifying Salt Lake City is crucial to ensure that Enclave's interests are protected. You have your orders, Colonel. Back again, scrap. There was an ancient back again the Dakotas before the war. We think they were the Devil's Angels, or Devil Angles. Perhaps for their uh, strange driving patterns. Regardless, their surviving equipment will serve the Enclave well. Mechanized Army? Power Armor alone will not save America. It'll be the courage and strength of our soldiers, along with mechanized battalions that gave us victory in Motor City's outpost. Chicago is one of the heartlands of Chicago's industry, but Motor City keeps us going. Some imports uh, from out east will keep us going too. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will catch you later. And probably the next episode which will probably be our last, which we go to war the Northern League, the Miscounts, and, and get into Utah. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.